it's time to continue with the uh, bicycle wheel uh, rebuild um, yesterday I uh, installed the spokes and now I'm going to try and uh, throw this up now oh, the white paper is here to set the white balance um, in the previous video I thought the uh, footage was uh, uh, too saturated but it was usable at least the camera didn't change uh, the color of my hands and make me look like I had spent a whole lot of time underneath the uh, artificial sunlight here's my truing stand and as you can see it hasn't been used in years so I better clean this up first a little brake cleaner and I sprayed a little brake cleaner on the laptop but it's an old one it shouldn't really matter I'll uh, fast forward the video this is probably just as boring as uh, videos uh, that show paint jobs Okay, I think I got most of the uh, dirt, fly shit and uh, cobwebs. It's clean enough for me. Um, I'm not completely sure how this thing should stand. I'm uh, especially confused about this, uh, this part here. No idea. Um, anyway, you can uh, adjust these two legs and fit the uh, the rim in between there. Something like this. How am I supposed to use this thing? So I'm assuming that this here is the bottom but if I set that uh, flat to the table like this Yeah, not sure. Anyway, I will fight this thing and see if I can come up with a uh, position that is usable for me. Well, I finally figured out that uh, this piece goes underneath here and goes into these two grooves. And uh, it can stand like this. And if I now insert the wheel The scale on here is at the bottom. I think uh, you're supposed to uh, sit on a stool in, uh, instead of uh, standing next to a workbench. Because from a lower angle you can uh, read the scale here a little bit better. But it looks like there's a whole lot of uh, to do and 
a nipple just uh, flew out. I think I saw it land here somewhere behind the camera. Ah, oh, there it is. Gotcha! And it came from this position. First I want to check if I can uh, still fit a bicycle pump in here. So here's my bicycle pump and here's the uh, inner tube and the valve stem and this spoke here is a little bit in the way. I'm installing the valve for a proper test. Now let's see if I can still fit the bicycle pump. This inner tube has a rather long valve stem. Yeah, I don't think that will be a problem. I can certainly live with that. As you can see, and uh, also here, the rim is. Uh, not completely around. It is uh, slightly egg shaped. Now the best way that I can think of to uh, try and uh, fix this problem is to loosen up a couple of spokes at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. And after that I will tighten them up again say 5 or 6 turns. And when that's all done, I will also loosen the uh, spokes in between and uh, tighten those up for the uh, same amount. And since the uh, stainless steel spokes are a little bit shorter, I will stay away from those for the moment. So I selected uh, four positions around the uh, circumference of the uh, rim and now I'm going to uh, loosen these spokes or these nipples and tighten them up say uh, five or six turns. I have no idea if this is going to work but it's the best plan I could come up with. Okay, I got both of them out and now we'll reinstall them and try to uh, tighten them up equally. Which is harder than I thought it would be. Well I try to stick to the plan but I quickly uh, lost track of the amount of uh, turns I did with the screwdriver. So now I'm uh, turning them in all the way till I no longer see or feel any of the thread on the spokes. And I will do that for all of the wheel except for the uh, stainless steel ones because they are a little bit shorter. And when I'm done with that, we will have a look at the uh, situation. Well, I'm done tightening up the spokes uh, till I no longer see any of the uh, thread, except for the stainless steel ones, of course. Um, it already looks a whole lot better, although it is a bit strange because some of the spokes are still rather uh, loose. This one. The thread is gone, but still the spoke is rather loose. I think there must be a slight difference in some of these spoke lengths. So this one might be a little bit longer as well as this one.
Let's have a look at the uh, front. I think the uh, wobble in the height has certainly improved a lot. I don't think uh, you will feel this uh, when cycling, although it uh, certainly can be better. There is still a lot of side-to-side uh, -side movement. Now I will take this uh, setup inside where it's nice and warm and then I will try to improve the uh, situation. I'll be back later. I've been turning the nipples for an hour or so while sitting at the kitchen table and uh, watching some TV. You guys remember TV, right? It uh, is what you did before YouTube became a thing. Anyway, this is what it looks like now. It's certainly not perfect and I'm sure I could uh, improve this a bit more but it's uh, good enough for me. The bicycle doesn't have any rim brakes, it has drum brakes so a little side to side wobble shouldn't be a problem and I doubt uh, I would ever notice the height wobble. Besides I'm sure this bicycle will not be used a whole lot it will probably spend uh, most of its life uh, in a dark corner. Um, oh, one more thing. Some of the uh, spokes uh, came through the uh, nipple while tightening uh, things up. Here's one. There must be some slight variation in uh, the spoke length. Maybe they uh, somehow got stretched a little bit. I don't know. I thought about grinding them down but uh, that means a whole lot of extra work that I'm not willing to do right now. These are both of the uh, rim tapes that I saved from the uh, original bicycle wheel and uh, the replacement wheel that uh, my neighbor gave me. And I will be installing both of these and hopefully that will be enough uh, to prevent the uh, spokes from, uh, from poking into the uh, inner tube. Okay, now the second one, if I can find where I left it, uh, there it is. Now these rubber ones can break very easy. Hopefully it will stay in one piece. Because gluing these things back together is a nightmare. Next I need to uh, reinstall the wheel in the bicycle but I'm not going to film all that because there will probably be a whole lot of uh, undignified cursing and I will probably have lost some of the parts that I need but I will show you the bicycle I had to move the table for this next shot and that is uh, especially for that one person that will ever get to see this but I'm going to get the bicycle now there's not a lot of room here. But here it is. I'll move it a little bit further so I can close the door. It's a uh, junker. And I believe that's a. Uh, B brand from uh, Gazelle, a famous Dutch bicycle maker. The first thing that goes on here is a dust cover and next there is a spacer and I'm reasonably sure that this uh, gear should be dished to the outside like this. It can be installed uh, like this but to be sure I will have a look at the uh, footage that I shot before. But first I'm going to reinstall the um, tire. First the inner tube. The valve. And whatever this thing is called. 
round nut. I hope I got the uh, tire direction correct. Fifty percent chance if it has a uh, rotation direction. So the direction is that way, so it's going to roll like this. So that's good. I can continue. You're supposed to finish uh, at the valve stand, or at least that's how my uh, father told me. I think it is uh, done like that to. Uh, uh, get enough room on the uh, other side for the uh, tire something like that but it depends from wheel to wheel or tire to tire one tire is easier to mount than on the other one this one isn't too bad installed Then you make sure that the uh, inner tube is uh, correctly uh, seated into the outer tube and uh, give it a burst of air. Oh, you should also uh, make sure that the uh, uh, inner tube isn't pinched between the uh, rim and uh, the tire. And you do this by pushing in the valve. So now the uh, dirty struggle to put this thing back together can start and I've already forgotten the uh, chain tensioners but I'm not going to uh, expose you guys to my uh, frustration and struggle so I'm going to uh, end this video right about now well I managed to put things back together and it wasn't too bad, I didn't lose anything. So I guess now we shall go for a test drive. Although the weather sucks today. But first we need some air. So that should be enough. Fucking roosters. A little finishing touch. And then we can go for a test ride. Well, luckily it stopped raining. Let's see if uh, she still works. Well, at least it uh, didn't collapse under my weight. I will now take you off the camera and then we go for a ride and uh, maybe bring the horse a treat. Yep, it's the muddy season again. I should shift to a uh, lower gear because with all this mud it's hard to cycle. And I cannot shift with the uh, camera in my right hand yeah I hate uh, this time of year all this mud I'm going to uh, make this short okay we are at the uh, location and I got some bread for the horse and looks like he didn't drink a whole lot of water. I don't know if you can see it. There he is. Come here, Jonge. He's a Frisian. Come. Now I'm going to put you down so I can open up the uh, bag of bread. I guess. The girls over there would also like a piece.
only a month ago this was all dry here. Now it is starting to turn into mud again. Ah, you want this? This is kind of awkward to uh, film. Well, now I'm going to repair my own bicycle because that one broke as well yesterday evening. The whole tire blew out. <laughs> 